But this we are fun. so pumped to go. College basketball back. The fans are back inside Conti Forum for the first time in over 600 days. Coming from junior college, where he was the third team All-American last year. Here's Makai Ashton Langford. Gives it off to DeMar, who's got the bucket. DeMar Langford kicks it. Zachary, three ball, good. Jaden Zachary, welcome to Chestnut Hill. He's a kid that, he's a good player. He, play, he had a great career at Charleston, and so he's a guy that guy, these guys can look up to. How about that? Banked in for Makai Ashton Langford. Makai got lucky that time. Pulled up from a little deeper than he's used to. A little force there, but a little wry smile on his face after. And BC, you know, he got lucky on that one, but I say you got to keep pounding it in, drive and kick, try to get the ball to the hoop, use your physicality, just like Galloway's going to do right he here. He gets inside. He thought about holding up, but then decides to power his way through. I think everything that Earl Grant is about is Barry connects from three. Brendan Barry, his first points of the game. Recruit from Orlando, Florida. Carnick's back in. Also, Andrew Kenny, the junior. Here is Lankford to the 10. 10 to shoot for BC. Lankford, step back, jumper, got it. Who was the number one ranked player in Massachusetts by a couple of the recruiting agencies who is here as a freshman, a four-star recruit. You see off the bench today for Boston College. That triple is good. South Carolina, try to steal one from some of these other ACC schools. He did it at Clemson. He helped build a, a great a great team for fourth in the team two years ago, averaging eight and a half a game. Makai Ashton Lankford straight on. Got it! Bakerstaff there on the offensive rebound. He beat Neskovich to the spot. The seven-footer post inside. Got it. Gotta use the size advantage when you have it. When you think about it, it's, it's exciting for the players. It's exciting for the students. You know, you, you come to a school watching, looking forward to watching ACC level basketball. This is cool. Three pointer, good. Try to free it up. If you can just soften up that defense a little bit with some looks from Rye, some of these other post guys. Speaking of, quick post. Well, this is the part that's going to have to develop for BC. Obviously, Ashton Langford, Langford carried them early. Now they're getting some other contributions. Oh, a big put back there for Quinton Post. I mean, it could be Post and Bickerstaff early, the guys with some experience, and then they, you know, player development-wise, Gianni Thompson, Devin McLaughlin, the freshman, the highly touted kids. After that drive, he's three of six from the floor. Cross-court pass, three-pointer, Jones, good! Kanye Jones, rising again, six early points for the freshman. By Makai, right across the zone. Samuels turned his head, never saw Kanye Jones open behind him. Nice cut, Garrison Wade with his first two points of the evening. That's one, uh, look at the coaching staff, hey Kanye. <laughs> I know you're feeling good, but that's probably not a good shot early in the shot clock. Counted for Garrison Wade and he's going to the line. But they made some progress two years ago to get to five and nine in the league and started climbing the standings. We'll see if they can get it going here early and try to continue that as another three ball. Don't want to jump the ref, but I felt pretty good about that one. You got a good veteran crew here tonight, too. <laughs> Turn around, Vickers' staff is good. But Providence is a nightmare matchup for a lot of people. He learned that mentality. It's going to translate well here. Inside for DeMar Langford, Jr. Eight points for DeMar. Uh, they are out today, and it's a 42-19 start for BC over Dartmouth. Second half getting underway, starting lineup for both schools. Here is Karnick, and the turnaround is good for the first points of the year for James Karnick. Pretty big one right now, but it's about falling in love with the process and joy and the climb, and um, that's what he is starting to preach here as Barry gets two. And this league is too good that, you know, he, he also understands it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a year as Dartmouth finally gets an easy one there. Got to show steady progress. Langford backing his man down. Turnaround, floater goes. The home court roll for DeMar Langford is up to 10 points. Very creative score. Barry, nice feed for Rye coming down the driving lane. Too bad he's still on the bench, but out for the game. 
jumper at the end of the shot clock, and Wade did not need to take that as early as he did. Kristoyak missed all of 2019-20 to injury, and then of course missed last year with the pandemic at Dartmouth. Baker's staff is good in the foul. Of what they do, they gotta make sure to keep him healthy and not tweak that. Nice pass by Rye inside, and Kristoyak is on the board once again. They're finally getting some easy buckets. You saw Rye get a couple easy ones around the bucket. Look at this right here, split in the middle, wide open three, perfect offense there. Really nicely done. Garrison Wade with seven points now after knocking down that three. Remember, as Barry's floater is not there, it's been 20 months since Dartmouth has played a game. There's the turnover. Chris Doyak's got six points in a row for Dartmouth. Hasn't just been a few a little months. time, right? But Dartmouth starting to put it together now. Post inside, count it, and a foul. Quinton Post with nine. Barry's jumper is not there. Good job by Kanye Jones pulling the rebound. A burst of speed. Don't come out for Kanye Jones. This is where, BC, you want to step on the gas again. You've got control of this game back. Every rebound you want to go. Keep pressure on this Dartmouth defense. There they go again. Get into the hoop. Jamar Langford Jr. with 12. Foul shots were missed, but Karnick gets an offensive rebound. Playing out there, wet post! And a thunder slam for a new career high, 11 points for Quinton Post. Boston College is one of seven schools in the country this year with two seven-footers. Here comes Lankford! Starting to convert some points into some easy ones down the other end. Well, maybe the most notable thing about this game, if you want to take out of it, is that time Jackson Blofeld just into the game for the first time. He knocks down the three. Post missed at the foul line, so one for two. He's up to 12 points now. For Boston College, Johnny Thompson into the game for the first time. The highly prized recruit, ranked number one in Massachusetts. We'll tell you about him. Talking to coaches, working on specific things, that goes a long way, and that's going to be a big part of Earl Grant's foundation here at BC. Three-pointer no good. Follow-up is, though, for Nate Ogbu. He's looked really good. You've got to be really encouraged by his debut to add to their depth in the backcourt. Barry with a nice feed to Kristoyak, who didn't really have much of an impact in the first half. A lot of effort, a lot of fouls, a lot of physicality. Three ball by Samuels is off the mark. Follow-up is there. Dushan Neskovich, the sophomore. Uh, the three-point shot really has not been there today. It's just four for 27 for Dartmouth in the game. That one, though, does go for Brendan Barry. So he finds his way to 10 points because of the extra year of eligibility granted in the Ivy League this year. At the school where you received your bachelor's degree, which for him was Dartmouth. Three-pointer good. And welcome to the Heights for Johnny Thompson. Under two minutes remaining here. Three-point chance is good. Romeo Mertel with his first college points. It's a three-pointer. Having the real experience again. It's just cool. This is just a huge night for college sports. Jumper is good for DeMar Langford. Thompson trying again from three. A little bit too strong. Kenny underneath gave it back. Thompson driving inside is blocked by Kristoyak. Out ahead in the buck. And the final four seconds. One more shot at the end. Is short for Blofeld, and that'll do it. 73 to 57, the final.